so-called meditation practices are supported by certain circumstances that which we are familiar, which people say, go to the mountain, uh, go to a monastery, uh, close the door, create the boundary, and so on. We do that. That's how we know that helps. But at some point, then we talk about integration. So we're trying to see, can you find it? Especially us living more like a, not the monastic life, but more ordinary life lifestyle. You have to find that in everyday life. So everyday life means when you're angry, can you find something there? When you're, when you're lost, can you find something there? To be curious, to be interested, to find there where nobody looks at. Rather than running away from that and trying to find, find it. So that's it, it, the point, right? So I think that's kind of important to, to, to understand that. Mm. People talk about when, uh, like, drug and anesthesia, right? Like when, uh, when dying, uh, reducing pain uh, with drugs, and so question about how, how this, that affects or should it is good or not, you know? So somehow, it's a very good question, but somehow we have to remember, you know, at some point we're going to lose it, lose it, the memory connection anyway. Either you lose it with the drugs or, or we lose it naturally. At some, some point we're going to lose it. So the question is, before you lose it, the last moment before you lose it, those moments seem important. Regardless of the, uh, you, are, you, are, you, you, you have some drugs or not, you know. So that means, that whole meeting means it's not trying, it's not, no, you're not going to lose it, you are going to lose, you expected to lose it, but can you still maintain some sense of awareness? 